Are you checking your email or sending texts while you watch television this morning? Do you ever feel like technology is taking over your life? We decided to do a little social experiment, sending out our ABC News technology contributor, Daniel Seberg, to bust people using gadgets in inappropriate places. Everywhere you look, you see it. Fingers stuck on keyboards, phones seemingly glued to ears, walking while typing and then falling. Face it, we are addicted to our technology, even using our gadgets in places where we really shouldn't. So we sent our tech contributor, Daniel Seberg, out to bust people. We're here at the Hard Rock Cafe where hopefully people are dining and talking, but we're seeing a few people who are more preoccupied with their devices. Let's go have a look. At one of the first tables, Daniel spots four young adults, but nobody's talking to one another. Instead, they're just texting. You're texting each other? Yes. I do that with my mom. Like, me and my mom go out, I text my mom, like, you right there. Right across from the yeah. table? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next, two women eating lunch together. One of them cannot stop looking at her phone. Does that bother you? you gotta say connected. Not at all. Gotta check everything out. Is there anything you should check right now? Um, no, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just dining and texting, it's walking too. This Windows Mobile commercial shows the dangers of a virtual minefield of distracted walkers. We're here in Times Square where it's easy to bump into people as you're walking around, but it's also full of a lot of people just sitting and typing. Let's go talk to them. Daniel caught up with this guy who was texting and walking at the same time. Have you ever bumped into anybody? No, no. Are you sure? People bump into me. Oh, people bump into yeah, you. And whose fault is that? It's their fault. <laughs> you ever look left and right anymore? Or is it like always like this? It's just like, do so what you gotta do. And then this guy tried to hide his phone when our team caught up with him. We're at the, the crossroads of America here in Times Square and you're, you're looking down at your, your phone. I'm one of those jerks that is somehow ridiculously addicted and uh, <laughs> missing the world because I've got this damn thing in my hand. And just like at the Hard Rock, this man is walking with friends but is not paying any attention to them as he texts away. Are these guys not interesting enough to talk to you? You're gonna be like They're talking very on your interesting. Phone? You caught me this one time. <laughs> and finally, in Central Park, arguably the most beautiful park in the world, nature cannot seem to compare to those tiny little screens. I just received a text, yes. Uh, okay. But I'm in, I'm in the park. I right. Mean, I mean, any, this is like right. this beautiful I mean, you know? sunny day. Shouldn't you be right. like looking around? Right. That well, sort of thing? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> And then there were those, of course, who were just too busy on their phones to even acknowledge our team's existence. Um, can you talk to us just for a second? Too, too distracted. <laughs> <laughs> those reactions are hilarious. Daniel is here with us this morning. We should say he is a self-confessed recovering tech addict, and he's written a new book. I have it in my hand. It's about breaking the addiction. It's called The Digital Diet. He's here this morning with some tips. All right. So and Dan, I'm not perfect, by the way. I should point out that I still struggle with stuff occasionally, okay. but I see the benefits from it, and it's absolutely worth doing. So practically... How do we break this addiction? All right, so there are lots of tips in the book, but I'll run through just a few of them. Mm -hmm. First of all, no tech turds. <laughs> okay. Now that is this. Can you say that on morning television? I think so, apparently, I hope so. We've yes. said it, it's all out right. there. That's, if you're at a restaurant with somebody and you throw your device out on the table like that, yeah. that's a tech turd for me. You know, uh -huh. it's just, you're looking at that blinking light, anything you say, I'm gonna look here if it's not interesting enough, you know, which is a problem, I think, socially. Yeah, I do that, but it's rude. It is rude. Uh, the next one is structure your e-day. So when you get online first thing in the morning and when you go offline, and try to structure that. You know, think of the time you're gonna start checking and being online, and then think about when you can actually put your devices away at the end of the day. And then the next one, sleep device free. Okay, charge your devices anywhere except your bedroom. The kitchen, the bathroom, if you have to. But keep the sanctuary of your bedroom away from all you the know, gadgets. You know, my wife made me move the BlackBerry charger to the other side of the room, and it's a, it's a game changer. It, it absolutely is. You may even get a better sleep. I do. You know, and finally, live your life in the real world, which, you know, I think so many people get caught up in what happens on Facebook and Twitter and social networks, and it almost doesn't happen for real until they post about it or something. It's a little bit weird. Now, the book covers all sorts of things, but those are just a few to help people out. This is fascinating stuff and really important in a lot of people's lives. Daniel, we really appreciate it. I know the book covers lots of other stuff, including the myth of multitasking, which yes. we may have you back to discuss at some point. I would love point. to, absolutely. All right, we appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Daniel. you very much. You the book is called The Digital Diet, and you can read an excerpt from it on abcnews.com.